Am I taking this? Yep. Okay. Just take the whole thing. Okay. Wow. That really is just keeps going. Life is almost dead. We stay with debts forever. I send my condolences to the side of the drive. Oh, I got it. I'm so strong. <laughs> I'm Carly and this is Brady. In early 2020, we sold our house and most of our possessions and took our first big leap into living our vagabond dreams. We recently hiked 800 miles of the Appalachian Trail and now we are purchasing a sailboat to start sailing around the world all while capturing a creative journal of the journey. We hope to inspire you to live your own dreams. Subscribe and thanks for watching. Guess what? The first piece to our new electrical system, new, improved, whatever you wanna say, it's arrived. Super exciting, first one. Brady, show them the honors. It is our new Victron Energy 3000 watt inverter charger. You like ah. everybody's really excited in the background you know cheer audience uh, yeah super excited about it we didn't know it was coming today and we happened to like walk in with the FedEx guy and then Brady got an email that a package was delivered and there it is hopefully our batteries and the rest of the system besides the panels we haven't ordered those yet but hopefully all that comes in on Friday too so fingers crossed super exciting all right mr. Brady Let's see those muscles. It is like 45 pounds, I think. And I have no arm strength. Jello arms? Yeah. <sighs> Jello arms. Very good. Oh, where are we going to put that? <laughs> Out there, actually. Yeah, I know, but I don't know how we're going to mount it. <laughs> I'm sure there's instructions on that. There are, but... Reading ahead for you? Yeah. Or me reading out loud to you? I think these are the screws that they have included for you to mount it, which there's only... One, two, three, six, seven. Hold it there for a while. We're, we're trying to get some focus. There we go. Seven screws, and those... I mean, they... For a boat that's rocking. That's your mounting bracket, I bet. That probably is. It just seems like I, I want a re redundant system. <laughs> Smart. Wanna, when you're spending that much money yeah, on I the system, bulk it up. Yep. you want to so. make sure it's not going to fly. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We got our inverter in last night, and that means it is time for me to figure out what's going on in this boat electrical wise. So today I have opened up the breaker panel over here and I got the manual out for the boat because um, it's super helpful to look at the wiring diagrams and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I was gonna give you guys a quick view of our breaker panel. Here's our breaker panel. This whole side is our 120 volt AC and we have two 12 volt DC panels or breaker uh, sets and then we've got a battery connect switch over here um, these are all things that I'm gonna have to go through wire by wire figure out where it goes what it's doing and how can we uh, improve that now a lot of this stuff is the AC side and the DC load side um, which means that is going to the devices already on the boat so we shouldn't have to change too much of that I am probably going to end up changing the battery connect switch over here just because of our new system is going to be a little different. Um, using the original manual to take a look at the wiring diagram and determine you know what all is going on and start tracing wires. What is Carly up to? I am creating a spreadsheet which is not my thing. That's Brady's thing. <laughs> um, if you know us at all, I'm not spreadsheet girl, but I'm creating a spreadsheet 
that has information on the elasticity, elastic stiffness, and the breaking point of different sizes of lines and different types of lines. And then I am writing in all of our specs, I guess, what is suggested off of Samson Rope, um, their guide. It was the nicest guide I found, so it's going off of that basis. But what they say for a 35 foot and a 40 foot boat, because we are sort of in between, I guess, kind of. Um, and then also writing in um, what the original man manual says the island packet 35 came with. And comparing those, deciding which size we are going to buy, which size we need. And then, so I'm writing all that in <laughs> also. And then I will record what we buy, the lengths, the colors, all of that. So when it comes in, it's not like, yay, I don't know what any of this is. <laughs> um, and we'll have something to reference also. So, yeah, it's been several days of rigging, running, rigging research, um, because when you're starting at the bottom and have no idea, it's days of research. So, yeah, making progress. It's good. Hey, everybody. We got our first shipment of solar panels in last night, hauled them onto the boat, and I just opened up the package. Today's panels are the flexible 170 watt, 5 watt panels from Renogy and we're gonna test fit one of these on the foredeck of our boat to see if it's gonna fit there. Um, if not, we need to return one of them because, well, uh, we only have a limited amount of space on the foredeck, so uh, let's go forward and see if this is gonna fit. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's perfect. So we call that a success? That's a success. I'm gonna have to fight, like, this lip and these that right there yeah and we measured and we were like maybe not for sure but it totally is the question is you're not supposed to walk on them so if we'd have to do anything granted we only have a cleat over here there you can't really stand right here on the panel because you're not supposed to stand on them well so. is that this brand particularly because I know that other people have that walk on them to do their sale stuff. Yeah. We will have to contact Renogy and find out okay. if we can walk on it. Okay. Um, but I would assume no. If we put this like foam. If we put the foam, it's going to be in strips. Um, like foam adhesive. Yeah. Then that's going to... Things to figure out. Yep. Got my little plant nook. It's very exciting. Most of them are looking really sad right now and need lots of attention and love. And I can't let my lavender baby feel sad, so I show him off too. My little lavender that I just got. But he likes the sun more than the others, so he's out here. Let me show you some realities of boat life right now. What is happening? The madness that is going on in our living area. A little in the moment, the truth, the reality, whether you're, you've been doing this for 10 years or 10 days, <laughs> which is probably pretty accurate. This is what's happening. We've got Brady working on something with the engine, something electrical, correct? Yes. With the engine. That's why all of this is open over there. Electrical things happening. We have this madness here going on. Yeah, we've got our new lithium batteries. Super exciting. More things with the power. <laughs> Brady's tool bag, electrical tools, paperwork from the car. This is the panel that goes here. That has tools and stuff in it. That's our new 3000 watt inverter, dirty clothes, my paint, and a, one of my journals, toilet paper, toothbrush, random miscellaneous, and seasickness medicine. 
bag of trash, the stairs, and closure for the engine. Yeah. And then you can see into the cockpit too, which is old solar panels, new solar panels, our new freezer, hiking backpack. I mean, it's all just... You feel overwhelmed watching it? It's all right, we feel overwhelmed too. Lost track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. Now I'm driving back on Interstate West. I just gotta feel something. Not gonna wait till the morning because something's gonna change my mind. I don't wanna change my mind. Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here, chilling with my friends for another year. Down into your rabbit hole you go. She's my best friend an apologetic text he says to come over. Well, the whole damn town has been waiting now, for the day when you to come you. back here. <laughs> there was dancing and talking and steaks on the grill and I think that I will be alright. And my ex from high school still looks just the same as she did back in 2009. I couldn't wait till the morning. Except I can't because the bracket wouldn't be long enough. Yep, it won't catch because now. This is going to be the fun part. Would you mind handing me a socket from over there? What socket? Let's go with the three quarter. Three quarter? Yeah. Okay. Three quarter. Trace quattros. Um. Top left. Top left. Oh yeah. Come on. They're so freaking hard to get out of here. Mm -hmm. Ow! Got it! Hopefully that's the right one. <laughs> it is not. It's 
going to be seven eighths then. <laughs> or just slide the thing over to me. That might seven be eighths. Okay, seven eighths. Halfway between what I have and what that one was. Seven eighths. No, that's seven sixteenths. It's going to be near the three quarter. It's going to be like one to the right or two to the right. Three that's quarter. eleven sixteenths and five eighths. And oh. then. Sorry, five eighths. I'm sorry. Five okay. Eighths. Seven eighths I don't have. Okay. Start at the bottom. Pull, pull the bottom up first. There you go. Okay. <laughs> That's too small. So it's the one in between. It's eleven sixteenths. I don't know, honey. <laughs> Just guessing. Okay. Third time's the charm. That'll work. Is it supposed to be metric? Or, yeah, metric? I don't know. This works. <laughs> What are you trying to do? I need to find out where I'm supposed to hook up. I'm assuming it's on the negative terminal, but this uh, battery temperature sensor. Uh, I'm assuming this goes on the negative terminal of the battery, but I don't know. Hello everybody, Brady here. We are currently sitting on anchor with our boat in the Everglades. We are on our way down to the Keys right now and uh, you guys just saw a bunch of video footage of me and Carly doing a some electrical installation stuff and it's not really clear what we're doing or why we're doing it or anything like that um, and I'm not going to fill that in right now but I'm planning on doing a technical video uh, going through our entire electrical system and explaining all the ins and outs of it so that other people like myself who are interested in doing a new electrical upgrade or um, electrical install, swapping to lithium batteries, putting in new inverter, all that stuff, um, there will be a technical how-to video uh, in the future when we have more time to film. Um, we are trying really hard to get our boat to the Bahamas um, before Carly's birthday in a little bit. So we haven't even been editing video all that much. It's just like been like sail during the day, anchor, make food, clean up, go to bed and just keep doing it over and over and over or and solve problems uh, because <laughs> we're constantly solving problems, which by the way, uh, sneak peek, we got our boat stuck. We ran aground here in the Everglades in Little Shark River. Look and forward to that video yeah, in a month. Yeah, well, in like two months. There might be a video. I don't know. Are we that? I think we're that far behind. It's my computer taking off. Oh, it's, like... it's the airplane and my computer taking off yeah. that's making that noise. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we ran aground. Uh, DJ from Venture Wild had to come over. Well, DJ and Katie, actually, yeah. they both came over in the dinghy. Yeah. Um, and helped us get our Spoilers, boat unstuck. We got loose. Yeah, we got on. We we got the boat unstuck. Yeah. Um, but it was. You can look forward to that. Yeah, that was stressful. Not the way to end the day. Yeah, not the way to end the day. Ah. <laughs> anyway. All right. It I'm was such getting, a good day before that. It was. We had such a good sail. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm getting off here so I can finish editing this video and get it exported so we can post it for you guys tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. All right. Have a good night. Done. 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 <laughs>